once again once again i welcome you today tuesday and our devotion continues last uh, yesterday we started off the topic of the reasons why we need to serve god reasons why a christian ought to serve his maker his savior our lord jesus christ and as we continue with uh, our reflection today let us uh, first honor god as we start with the word of prayer father we thank you and we bless you and we honor you and we acknowledge and our we affirm our faith in you lord you are our lord you are our savior father lord teach us how to serve you more and more help us find reasons of serving you even through this text o lord that you are giving us this morning continue father lord allowing us no reasons to serve to serve you even better so we bless you lord and we honor you this is our prayer of faith in jesus name yes i thank god yesterday we as i started saying yesterday we had a very good time and uh, we were thinking through reasons why we serve god and god is giving us uh, matthew 25 as the text that is giving us guidance on uh, why we need to serve God, reasons, on reasons why we need to serve God. And yesterday we were talking about uh, uh, that one number one reason that we have in our service to God is that God uh, is the one who has given us all the gifts that we have in our lives. Remember that the master, the master goes out and entrusts gifts to the stewards, and one he gives two, the other he gives one, and still another he gave five. And so he gave them. He gave them out. Out. Uh, he gave them out, out of his own interest. And that one should not actually be what we we sent up on. But again, he was doing that for that these servants or these stewards whom were given talents would in return use their talents. And yesterday we are saying that uh, these gifts that we have, we should use them to bring pleasure to God and to others. And we were saying that. Uh, in Christian perspective, serving others is by extension serving God. And so this morning, I would like us to get number two reason. And I'll, I said that I'll give uh, two reasons today because yesterday we just shared on one reason why we need to serve God. And today, uh, the, the second reason that I would like to bring to our attention is that uh, within a within life of a believer, there is uh, that yearning to hear Jesus say to you after all has been said and done, after all that you are doing, or all service that you give before the Lord, there is that yearning in the heart of that person who has undertaken to, to serve the Lord. The yearning of well done, good and faithful servant, good and faithful servant. That is one thing that should make any believer be, be involved in service because we, 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 there's a yearning, there's a yearning, a spiritual yearning in our heart that one day, the Lord will uh, welcome you and say that, come on, uh, come here, my faithful servant, come to your rest. That yearning is, 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 in, uh, is at the center of our faith. And so this uh, morning, I just want to remind us that the text, Matthew chapter 25, that we were finding our reading yesterday, and we're starting from verses 16. So we read 16, 14, 15, and 16 yesterday. Today, I would like to bring this and, and the, the, the yearning to hear the Lord one day welcome us, be our center of our tra- Remember that the two stewards, the two stewards that uh, we, we read about were told this, the two stewards, as we read from verses 21 through to 23, we see that uh, Jesus, the Lord, says this, which I want to believe is a yearning in almost all of us who are serving the Lord. He says that the, the, his master replied, Well done, in verses 21. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been uh, faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and uh, share your master's happiness. And he continues in 22, says, uh, The man with two bags again was told this. The man with, with the two bags of gold was told this. Uh, also came and the master said, you entrusted me with the, 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 he told the master this, that you entrusted me with two bags of gold. See, I have gained two more. And the third, the, the, the very last verse that I would like us to share is uh, verses 23. 
and the master replied to the second the second person who came in who had worked two more goals the master said this well done good and uh, faithful servant you have been faithful with a few things i will put you in charge of many things come and share your master's happiness and so friends there's a yearning any person who serves the lord in our hearts should be a yearning a reason that makes us uh, serve God should be this yearning in our hearts that one day we will be met with these words affirming what we have done before the Lord and providing us every happiness that is uh, every happiness that is only found with God after the task that we have here on us on, on earth and so those who I mean the uh, the, the treasures or the, the gifts that God has given us will one day cause us to be blessed before the Lord, will one day cause us to be praised. And for me, I think this is just too much for me this morning, that uh, one day after all has been said and done in my spiritual walk, that these words will meet with me, even as I'm ushered in into, into, into the, the, the rest the perfect happiness that God has uh, prepared for me, prepared for you. So this yearning, this yearning, friends, yearning of uh, these very words, well done, my good and faithful servant. This yearning should be a reason enough for us to trust and to serve our God. Because uh, even though the gain was different, you remember that even though the gain, the one person brought one, the other brought two, still another brought five, they were not... They were not. They, they all did not come with the same, same product, and were not given the same. We said yesterday that uh, it was in the interest of the the master to gift these people differently. And though they were gifted differently, remember the master. The same way he told the, the person who were given five bags is the same same way that he's telling the person whom he's given to. And so these words applies to th all those who serve with regardless to whatever portion that God has gifted you. And I think this should even inspire us more, more and more, because we realize that he says good, he commends the, the, commends the two servants, that they are good servants, they are faithful. This commendation, friends, well done for the good job that you have done. I think uh, this gives us and uh, approves gives us approval of spiritual, a uh, spiritual sense of approval that the Lord himself is in the business of uh, inspiring us, inspiring us for, for even these good works. And so uh, there's a time we will uh, stand before the Lord. It is good to know believers, all believers throughout the world know that there's a time that they will stand before the Lord and give account on, on how they used their time, how they used the abilities that God gave them how they, the, the treasures that God endowed them with, that how they used that. And that is what Paul also alludes as we read uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verses 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verses 10. Paul alludes that there is a time that uh, believers will stand before their Lord, that uh, they will stand before their master. And as they stand before their master, they will give account on how they use the treasure that God gave them. In uh, chapter 5 and verses 10, Paul records this. Paul says that, uh, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each of us may receive what is due us for the things done while in the body, when whether good or bad. So friends, a believer knows that uh, one day they will always stand and give account before the Lord over how they lived their lives. Was your life a life of service or was it a life you, 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 with a lot of meanness? You didn't give it all to the Lord. And so even Revelation chapter 22 the, and verses 12, the author of Revelation says this, and I would like to remind us, look, I am coming soon. My reward is with me, and I will give to each person according to what they have done. And so what we do, our spiritual service, is what will give us a stake before the Lord. Because as he approves our service, as he commends our service before him, as he says, come over, my faithful servant, my good and faithful servant, as he gives this affirmation, friends, it is good to know that he is calling us to remember that one day we will stand and give account 
whether the works he gave us to do, whether the service we partook together it was a service that would uh, uh, warranty us a blessing that comes from the Lord. Then, uh, then, then when, that come, when, when that happens, my brother, my sister, it will be a wonderful time even to realize that this yearning will come to fruition, that on that day, the account that be given us will be a count of good service. Jesus will, will commend us. But I want to believe that if at all we selfishly didn't uh, give our service to the Lord, then uh, that commendation may not apply. And so I think uh, this yearning should make us more and more want to selflessly give ourselves to serving God, to serving people around us. Then number three, another reason that I find is that our service to God brings us, it brings us and also brings him joy. Verses 23 of the same text that uh, we were reading of Matthew chapter 25. Verse 23, the, this is uh, what happens. His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Come and share your master's happiness. So those who faithfully serve their master, those who are serving, those who have given themselves to serving the Lord, there's this joy that uh, we both of us, both the joy, joy that... Uh, we ourselves experience in serving our God and uh, the joy that is, will also be uh, shared with God himself. God himself, he has a lot of joy within his heart. And so th that joy, th th the reason why we need to serve the Lord more, friends, is uh, there is joy in service. I know that there is one part in our, in, our, in our order of service book that when we serve the Lord, we are made even free and free. And, and that freedom that comes in our service is not void of joy, friends. And so number three, we should uh, be of service. We should be out there serving the Lord because that service brings us joy. That service brings us, not only us, but also unites us with the Lord in the same joy. And so friends, if you wish to enter into that joy of the Lord, then uh, that joy that which we are told, come and enjoy, that which you have happily worked for over all this, come and get yourself into this happy. Though that joy is uh, for eternity, I want to believe strongly that that joy starts here and now. And how, how we serve the Lord, those who serve the Lord can attest together with me that this joy is real. This joy is here. We start enjoying it here even as we prepare ourselves for this happiness that is coming in future. So friends, remember number three, that uh, our service to the Lord is not void of joy that God brings into us. And so each of us should pursue this personally, pursue, pursue, pursue this, uh, this uh, pleasure that comes out of, uh, of, of that joy. Because I want to believe, friends, that if at all we are serving others and we are serving one, one with the other, but the fact that the joy that is in the Lord is not also what inspires us to serve. If at all we are serving others out of our liking to serve them, but not with the intent and our perspective does not bring the joy of the Lord in it, then that, wouldn't be, uh, th that joy would not come to pass. But if at all we are serving, as we serve others, we know that uh, we, are, we are doing this to the Lord and that there is the joy that the Lord shares with those who serve him. I want to believe that that joy will be your portion. Also, we are called, we are, we are called upon to serve God, but also to discover that there is a joy in service. I don't know whether as you serve the Lord, as, you ever, as, it, as it ever come to you, that there is a joy that we experienced with the, I mean, we experienced with the Lord in our service to him. There is that gladness that we experience. Psalm 100 has this for us. Psalm chapter 100 and verses 2. This is what the psalmist says, that worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. As we worship the Lord, as we serve the Lord. I want to challenge us that uh, let us not only look into eternal joy that we will experience, but let us also experience that joy here while uh, we are at service. So the uh, reason number three, 
that we need that should make us serve God even more is that that joy of the Lord would also be experienced among us and within us as we serve the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we thank you because you remind us of things that you have hidden in your spirit to us. Holy Spirit of God, as you continue exposing these things to us, we pray that, Lord, you are helping us serve you even better, that, Lord, even your joy will be part and parcel of our lives. So we bless you, Lord, as we wind up this topic tomorrow. Your spirit, should go, we seek your spirit, that, Lord, your spirit will show us even more reasons why we need to serve you. We bless you, we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.